students of class 4 students i am sure all of you are happy and healthy in your homes students i have completed four lessons and two poems of wordsworth english reader book and i'm sure all of you are completing the notes given by me in your english notebook in a neat and clean handwriting students today i'll be continuing with lesson 5 of your wordsworth english reader book gulliver's travels so please take out your wordsworth english reader book and turn to page number 39 lesson 5 gulliver's travel students i had explained page number 39 first page of the lesson gulliver's travel and today i'll be explaining further but i would like to read the lesson once again before i start explaining so lesson 5 gulliver's travel i'm only 42 years old still i have already had many strange adventures in my travels to far off lands of the world strange adventures aren't what you had expect from someone named dr lamuel gulliver but being a doctor in london just didn't satisfy me traveling to distant lands in the world always fascinated me so after qualifying as a doctor i signed up as a ship's doctor and spent 3 and a half years sailing around europe i accepted an offer from the captain of a ship named antelope to be the ship's doctor on a voyage to the south seas we set sail from bristol england on may 4th 1699 and after peacefully crossing the south seas we were hit by a violent storm off the west coast of australia poor food and too much work while braving the storm caused the death of 12 of our crew and weakened the rest so when the wind drove us onto some rocks and split the ship apart only six seamen myself included had enough strength to get a lifeboat down into the sea and row clear of the ships and rocks suddenly a strong blast of wind from the north overturned our little boat and scattered my companions i never laid my eyes on them again i began swimming in whichever direction the wind and the waves pushed me i don't know how many hours i spent struggling but just when i was completely exhausted and water seemed to be filling my lungs my feet suddenly touched bottom i took in several mouthfuls of air and looked up to heaven it must have been about 8 in the evening the storm had decreased and there was enough light to make out land about a mile away i spent the next 2 hours trying to drag myself towards the shore i was so weak and tired when i finally limped out of the sea that i dropped down on a patch of soft grass within moments i was sound asleep children now let's go through the word meanings of the lesson the first word new word of the lesson is adventures adventures means unusual 
and exciting experiences adventures unusual and exciting experiences adventures unusual and exciting experiences second distant far away distant far away distant far away something which is far from us third word is fascinated strongly attracted fascinated strongly attracted which fascinates or which charms you a lot fascinated strongly attracted fascinated strongly attracted fourth word voyage long journey and in this lesson children long journey by a ship that sailing in water voyage long journey voyage long journey the fifth word is violent violent very forceful or powerful beta jisko bolte bahut taakatwar violent very forceful or powerful having lot of strength having lot of power violent very forceful or powerful braving to face with courage braving to face with courage when problems come and you try to face the problem courageously that is braving you don't run away you face the challenge so that is braving to face with courage then the seventh word is drove and drove means pushed seventh word is drove drove means pushed dhakka dena beta jisko bolte hain so seventh word is drove and drove means push to push then eighth word is split split means break to break split means to break split means to break ninth word is scattered scattered to spread in different directions scattered to spread in different directions Uh, let's take an example children if you drop a glass what will happen it will break and the pieces of the glass will scatter on the floor is it it agar aap sheeshe ka glass zameen pe girayenge to kya hoga wo sheesha toot ke zameen pe fail jana hai to fail jane ko bikhar jane ko hum kya bolte hain beta scattered then tenth word is exhausted exhausted very tired when you get very tired you are exhausted exhausted tired exhausted very tired exhausted very tired exhausted very tired drag to pull drag to pull drag to pull then the last word children the 12th word is limped limped walked with difficulty especially when you hurt your legs you are, you limp you cannot walk properly that is limping so walked with difficulty when you are unable to walk so limped walked with difficulty now there are three phrases also given children let's look at the meaning of the phrases the first one is set sail the first one is set sail set sails means to start a journey here in this lesson dr lemuel gulliver he is uh, set sail from bristol england to towards the south seas means he started his journey so set sail means to start a journey and the next phrase is row clear row clear to move away using a boat row clear to move away using a boat you row a boat and then when you use a boat by rowing it that is row clear to move away using a boat beta aap jab boat pe baithte hain aap usko row karte so that is row clear to move away using a boat and the third phrase is to make out to see to make out to see 
to make out to see now children page number 39 i'll summarize it for you once again that lemuel dr lemuel gulliver he was 42 years old and then he says that at the age of 42, he has experienced lot of excitement and adventures while traveling to far off lands in the world. And strange experiences he has experienced, which nobody can expect that a doctor can experience those adventures. And when uh, Dr. Lalul Gulliver, he qualified as a doctor, he became a doctor and he was in London but he was not satisfied with his life and he used to always uh, get fascinated by he, traveling to various places of the world. So after qualifying as a doctor he took up a job on the ship as the ship's doctor and then he went for a voyage that's a long journey uh, on the ship named Antelope. He became the ship's doctor and took up a job of the ship's doctor and then he set sail from Bristol, a place in England on May 4th, 1699. And they were heading towards South Seas after the ship, their ship Antelope had crossed South Seas. A violent storm hit the ship and uh, the violent storm it hit the ship somewhere uh, near the west coast of Australia. And what happened? Due to it was such a violent storm that everything was disturbed in the ship. The They had shortage of food, poor food. And so much of work that 12 crew members, 12 crew members of the ship, they died because of shortage of food and excessive workload and there were only six uh, men seamen left on the ship and what happened after these six men were left on the ship strong winds they pushed the ship antelope towards the rock and what happened as a result it was such a, a forceful push that the ship it break it broke apart it broke apart, it split into parts. So now these six men, uh, among which Dr. Lemuel Gulliver was also a uh, part, they took a lifeboat to re save themselves. They thought they'll now they'll uh, take a lifeboat and they'll sail towards the shore to save their lives. Till here, I had explained. Now I'll start. Suddenly, a strong blast of wind from the north overturned our little boat and scattered my companions. Now, when Dr. Lemuel uh, Gulliver, along with the five seamen, they took a lifeboat to uh, row the boat and go towards the shore and save themselves. But what happened in the meantime? A strong blast of wind. A strong blast of wind. A strong blast of winds means bit a bohat tej hawa ka jhoka. Ha? Bohat tej hawa aai. And it came from which direction? It came from the north direction. And the strong blast of wind, they had, it had overturned the boat in which Dr. Lamuel uh, Gulliver was with five other seamen. इतनी तेज हवा थी बेटा कि वो पूरी जो बोट थी वो पलट गई एंड आदर रिजल्ट व्हाट हैपेन जितने भी कंपेनियंस फाइव सी मेंस थे डॉक्टर लेमल गुलिवर के साथ वो सारे सी में पूरे चारों तरफ स्कैटर्ड हो गए जब बेटा बोट पलटी तो वो लोग सब पानी में गिरे और अलग-अलग डायरेक्शंस में स्कैटर्ड हो गए बिकॉज़ इट वाज uh, the boat overturned with a lot of force of the wind. I never laid my eyes on them again. And Dr. Uh, Lemuel Gulliver uh, is telling us that he was not able to see them again. That means either they must have drowned or 
they must have flowed away somewhere far away in the sea so dr lamil gulliver was not able to see them again in his life i began swimming in whichever direction the wind and the waves pushed me and dr lamil gulliver is uh, telling that he started swimming he was also thrown in the uh, water of the sea by the strong blast of wind which had overturned the boat so to save himself he started swimming in the sea whichever direction the wind and the waves pushed me beta jis direction mein waves ja rahi thi aur jis direction mein winds chal rahi thi usi direction mein dr lamin gulliver ne swim karna start kiya because it is easier to swim in the direction of the waves and the wind agar aap ulti direction mein jaoge to and agar bahut tez hawa chal rahi hai so it is very difficult to swim in the opposite direction so dr lemon gulliver he started swimming in the direction of the waves and the wind i don't know how many hours i spent struggling but just when i was completely exhausted and water seemed to be filling my lungs my feet suddenly touched bottom now that dr lemon gulliver he was swimming he kept on swimming kept on swimming beta sea to bahut bada hota hai hmm and कहाँ पे वो लोग की बोट ओवर टर्न हुई थी लोग वो स्ट्रगल करता रहा बिकॉज ऐसे ही जब वो शिप पे थे तभी उनके पास फूड वगैरह की शॉर्टेज हो गई थी दे वर नॉट इन अ स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड गुड कंडीशन तो ऐसे ही वीक थे उसके बाद जब बोट उनकी टर्न हो गई स्ट्रॉन्ग विंड ने फिर बोट उनकी टर्न कर दी तो ब्लैमल गिलेवर ही स्टार्टेड स्विमिंग and swimming in the direction of the wind and waves and wo kai hours tak ghanton tak beta he kept on swimming and swimming in strong winds is not at all easy wo struggle karta raha kisi bhi tarah because he wanted to save himself he didn't wanted to be drowned in the sea water usko doobna nahi tha so he kept on struggling wo koshish karta raha and he kept on swimming For hours and hours, इतने घंटे तक कि he also doesn't remember कि for how many hours he had swam in the water. And just when he thought कि अब he won't be able to swim more, he was so much tired. Continuous swimming makes a person exhausted, and that too without proper food and all. For so many days he'd been in the sea, so. and when he felt ki he was extremely tired and would not be able to swim any more just then what happened and he felt ki ab water jo hai jab aap beta nahi tair paoge to kya hoga dheere dheere if a person is unable to swim dheere dheere water uske muh se and nose se dheere dheere uske lungs mein jayega jab wo doobna start hoga and suddenly jab dr lamul गलेवर ही फेल्ट कि नहीं अब मैं बहुत थक गया मैं नहीं स्विम करूंगा एंड वाटर मतलब लगा कि अब तो वाटर मेरे लंग्स में चला ही जाएगा एंड आई बी आल्सो ड्राउन बट देन सडनली एट दैट टाइम हिज फीट टच द बॉटम बेटा जहां डीप वाटर होता है वहां यू कैन नॉट टच द बॉटम विद योर फीट बट द मोमेंट यू स्टार्ट कमिंग टुवर्ड्स द शैलो वाटर आप जैसे ही किनारे की तरफ आओगे आपके पाव में जमीन टच होने लगेगी सो एग्जैक्टली द टाइम वेन डॉक्टर लैम्यूल गलेवर ही फेल्ट कि नाउ द वॉटर सीम्स टू बी फिलिंग विद इन हिज लंग्स एंड हिल बी ऑल्सो ड्राउंड सो जस्ट देन हिज फीट टच द बॉटम आई टुक इन सेवरल माउथ पुल्स ऑफ एयर एंड लुक डप टू हैवन एंड ही वॉज सो मच रिलीव दैट डॉक्टर गलेवर ने कितनी बार मुंह खोल खोल के सांस ली बिकॉज नाउ ही वॉज एट ईज की नहीं अब मैं कहीं किनारे पे हूँ एंड लुक अप टू हेवन लुक अप टू हेवन मीन्स ही वॉज थैंकिंग गॉड की नाउ गॉड यू हैव मी फ्रॉम ड्राउनिंग इट मस्ट हैव बीन अबाउट एट इन द इवनिंग एंड बेटा वॉट वॉज द टाइम दैट टाइम जब वो उनके पांव जमीन की तरफ टच किए थे सी में इट मस्ट बी अराउंड एट इन द इवनिंग द स्टॉम हैड डिक्रीज जो बेटा जो तूफान आया था सी में दैट हैड डिक्रीज रिड्यूज हो गया था वो कम हो गया था एंड देर वॉज इनफ लाइट टू मेक आउट लैंड अबाउट अ माइल अवे 
एंड इतनी बेटर लाइट थी इतनी रोशनी थी कि डॉक्टर गलेवर जो है ही कुड मेक आउट कि जो लैंड है द शोर ऑफ किनारा वो इट वॉज ऑलमोस्ट अ माइल अवे फ्रॉम द सी नॉट वेरी फार सो ही वॉज एबल टू सी द लैंड वेर ही वॉज इन द सी फ्रॉम देर ही वॉज एबल टू सी द लैंड एंड ही कुड मेक आउट दैट द लैंड वॉज अबाउट अ माइल अवे फ्रॉम वेर ही वॉज इन द सी आई स्पेंड द नेक्स्ट टू आवर्स ट्राइंग टू ड्रैक माई सेल्फ टूवर्ड्स द शोर एंड द नेक्स्ट टू आवर्स ही केप्ट ऑन स्ट्रगलिंग एंड ही वॉज समेर इन द वॉटर एंड ही स्टिल नीडेड टू कम टूवर्ड्स द शोर विच वॉज स्टिल अ माइल अवे फ्रॉम हिम तो बेटा ही वॉज सो मच टायर्ड ही डेंट हैव एनी एनर्जी लेफ्ट विथ हिम ही लिटरली हैड टू ड्रैग अपने आप को उसको उनको खींचना पड़ रहा था he had to drag he had to pull himself to go towards the shore and save his life so it was not that easy that to us just imagine the land is just a mile away but still it took two hours just imagine how tired dr galiver must be that he took two hours to drag himself and come towards the shore so he literally had to struggle to save himself from drowning in the sea and when the land was just a mile away he took two hours to struggle to pull himself to reach the shore I was so weak and tired when I finally limped out of the sea that I dropped down on a patch of soft grass and finally after 2 hours of struggling to reach the shore he managed to come out of the sea and uh, Dr uh, Gulliver is telling that itne jyada wo thak gaye the and his legs had no energy to walk so he literally had to limp kisi bhi tarah उन्हें उन्होंने अपने आप को लंगड़ा के वो किसी तरह ही केम आउट ऑफ द सी ऑन द लैंड एंड द मोमेंट ही रीच द लैंड ही वॉज सो टायर्ड एंड ही वॉज फीलिंग सो वीक बिकॉज ही डेंट हैव फूड फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम एंड ही वॉज स्ट्रगलिंग इन द सी वॉटर फॉर आवर्स एंड आवर्स एंड फाइनली ही मैनेज टू रीच द शोर विथ ग्रेट डिफिकल्टी एंड आफ्टर अ लॉट ऑफ एफर्ट सो जैसे ही बेटा वो किनारे पे आए ही वॉज सो टायर्ड ही वॉज सो वीक ही वॉज नॉट एबल टू वॉक ही वॉज नॉट एबल टू स्टैंड सो ही जस्ट ड्रॉप डाउन ऑन अ पैच ऑफ सॉफ्ट ग्रास तो किनारे पे बेटा जहाँ पे सॉफ्ट ग्रास का पैच था वहाँ उनकी उन्होंने अपने आप को गिरा लिया बिकॉज ही वॉज अनेबल टू स्टैंड ही वॉज अनेबल टू सिट बिकॉज ऑफ ही वॉज फीलिंग एक्सट्रीमली टायर्ड एंड वीक within moments i was sound asleep and beta he was so tired he was so exhausted he was so weak that the moment he fell down on that soft patch of grass he was asleep unki aankhe band hui and he fell asleep out of tiredness it happens with us also when we are extremely tired and at times when we don't eat we are so weak that the moment we lay in the bed we fell asleep so same thing happened with Dr Lamuel Gulliver he was struggling in the water for hours and hours and he somehow managed to come on the shore but then his body did not have the energy and he was extremely tired and weak so that the moment he stepped on the land he dropped himself unki body beta giri kahan pe giri ek soft patch of grass mein wo gire and the moment he fell down he was असली वो सो गए इतना थक चुके थे इतना वीक फील कर रहे थे कि ही वॉज असली सो चिल्ड्रन दिस इज हाउ डॉक्टर लैम्यूल गलीवर वॉज द ओनली पर्सन हु मैनेज टू रीच द शोर एंड ई मैनेज टू कम टू एन आईलैंड सो स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव सीन दैट 
how Dr. Gulliver, he managed to reach the shore with lot of effort and difficulty. Now, the writer of this lesson is Dr. Lamuel Gulliver. Don't get confused. The author is Jonathan Swift. But who is narrating the story to us? That is Dr. Lamuel Gulliver. So he was a doctor and the author who has imagined all this, who has a uh, lot of uh, adventure in his imagination. He wrote this uh, story, Gulliver's Travel. And But who is telling the writer of the story is Dr. Lamuel Gulliver, whereas the author is Jonathan Swift. So please don't get confused. It, in this story, Dr. Lemuel Gulliver is the writer because he is telling us what has what had happened with him, how he faced the storm. And at the age of 42, he had the experience of traveling to far off lands, seeing different places of the world. And then he had experienced strange adventures, but nobody can also imagine that a doctor can experience such adventures. And um, why did he go on a ship? Because he uh, always wanted to travel to far off places across the world. So he left his family behind in England and took up the job of a doctor on a ship. And the name of the ship was Antelope. And he was not satisfied with his uh, job in London. So he took up a job of being a doctor on a ship called Antelope. He was always fascinated because he wanted to travel and see various places of the world. And what happened when uh, he started his journey till the South Seas, everything was peaceful and perfect. But after the ship crossed South Sea, a strong violent storm hit the ship Antelope somewhere near the west coast of Australia. And the storm was so violent that there was a shortage of food in the ship. And the crew of the ship, people who were working on the ship, they are known as the crew children. And the crew of the ship had to work very hard to face the storm. And they had shortage of food and excess of workload. So what happened as a result? 12 of the crew members of the ship, they died because they could bear. They were trying, but ultimately they could not save themselves from death. So 12 of the members died and only six seamen were left, including Dr. Gulliver. And when they uh, took a lifeboat to uh, save themselves, when the ship had uh, hit a rock and uh, broke apart. So these six uh, men, they took a boat, lifeboat to save themselves and reach the sh shore. Through the lifeboat, what happened? A strong blast of wind, it overturned the boat. And as a result, all of the six people were scattered in the sea. And that was the moment, that was the last time when Dr. Dr. Lamuel Gulliver had seen his uh, five men who were with him on the boat. And then he did not see them again. Either they must have drowned or they must have reached the shore. Nobody knows what happened because Dr. Gulliver, he didn't see them again. And Dr. Gulliver, he kept on swimming in the direction of the wind and the waves. And then with lot of difficulty, with lot of effort, he managed to reach the shore and when he thought that now he could not swim anymore after continuously been swimming for hours we don't know for how many nights and days he must have uh, swam to reach and finally when he thought that now no more i will be able to swim and 
the water of the sea started filling in his lungs suddenly that moment his feet touched the bottom of the ground and then he looked at the heaven must be thanking god that after all he has finally managed to reach the shore with his efforts then he could see that the land was still a mile away then it took him another 2 hours to struggle come out of that water and reach the land and finally after 2 hours of struggling in water he managed to come out of the sea water and reach the land and when he uh, came on the shore he saw a patch of green grass he was feeling so weak and tired that he dropped himself on that soft patch of green grass and he was so tired and weak feeling weak that he immediately went to sleep so this was the lesson children now once again i'll read the lesson for you so that easier for you to understand i'm only 42 years old still i have already had many strange adventures in my travel to far off lands of the world strange adventures are in what you had expect from someone named Dr. Lamuel Gulliver. But being a doctor in London just didn't satisfy me. Traveling to distant lands in the world always fascinated me. So after qualifying as a doctor, I signed up as a ship's doctor and spent three and a half years sailing around Europe. I accepted an offer from the captain of a ship named Antelope to be the ship's doctor on a voyage to the South Seas. We set sail from Bristol, England on May 4th, 1699. And after peacefully crossing the South Seas, we were hit by a violent storm off the west coast of Australia. Poor food and too much work while braving the storm caused the death of 12 of our crew and weakened the rest. So when the wind drove us onto some rocks and split the ship apart, only six seamen, myself included, had enough strength to get a lifeboat down into the sea and row clear of the ship and rocks. Suddenly, a strong blast of winds from the north overturned our little boat and scattered my companions. I never laid my eyes on them again. I began swimming in whichever direction the wind and the waves pushed me. I don't know how many hours I spent struggling, but just when I was completely exhausted and water seemed to be filling my lungs, my feet suddenly touched bottom. I took in several mouthfuls of air and looked up to heaven. It must have been about 8 in the evening. The storm had decreased and there was enough light to make out land about a mile away. I spent the next two hours trying to drag myself towards the shore. I was so weak and tired. When I finally limped out of the sea, that I dropped down on a patch of soft grass. Within moments, I was sound asleep. So children, we come to know that how Dr. Lemuel Gulliver, he qualified as a doctor. Then he took up a job of a doctor on a ship called Antelope. He left his family behind in England because he was not satisfied with his job. And traveling to far off lands always fascinated, attracted him. He wanted to see various places of the world. So, he set sail in the ship 
and then when they had crossed the south seas suddenly a violent storm hit on the west coast of australia and what happened as a result there was a shortage of ship on the shortage of food on the ship and the people the crew had to work very hard to face the problems to face the storm and 12 of the men died and only six seamen were left including dr gulliver and when they were left suddenly strong winds pushed the ship onto rocks and the ship broke and when these six men they were also very much weak and tired they somehow managed to take a life boat and started rowing it to reach the shore but suddenly a strong blast of wind overturned the boat and they were scattered in the sea but somehow dr gulliver he managed to swim for hours and hours maybe for many days and many nights he kept on swimming and the moment he felt that the he won't be able to swim any more and he'll be also drowning and the water started filling in his lungs that that very moment children his feet had touched the ground and he looked up in the heaven that finally he was going to be reaching the shore but that time it was around 8 o'clock at night but still he could see and he could see the land far away around uh, approximately 1 mile away and it took him 2 hours to reach the shore and he was so weak and tired that he couldn't even walk properly he was just limping on the shore and then out of weakness and tiredness he fell down on a patch of grass and he slept so children this is the summary of the lesson gulliver's travel and we'll be doing the comprehension in our next video